So the next one we're going to talk about is immune system. So if you notice, people usually get sick at two times of the year or related to one time or two times during the month. And these two times of the year are when the seasons change. And the reason why it's not flu season, what's going on is it's a change in temperature season. And you'll see the same thing in people if they are, say, in an outside temperature, like in Atlanta, where it's 100 degrees and 100% humidity, and then they come inside, and now they're in air conditioning, and you know, it's 70 degrees and still 100% humidity. If you can't adapt correctly, what happens is the lungs actually slough off tissue to change, to get ready to deal with the different um, temperatures. And because it's continually changing, when it changes at a big change, where it goes from really warm to really cold, when it sloughs it off, it allows bacteria and viruses to get into and enter your immune system or enter your blood system. That doesn't mean you're going to get sick. Bacteria and viruses can only feed on dead or damaged tissue. If you don't have dead or damaged tissue, or you have tissue, um, an immune system, which means a system that can actually find the proteins that are attacking you, the bacteria and viruses, you'll actually kill them off. So the immune system is actually every system in your body. The one we're taught about is the fighter part, which is the white blood cells, the macrophages, the lymphocytes, and the natural killer cells, these ones. Those cells are the ones that destroy the bacteria and viruses. The major component of the nerve system, though, of the immune system, is the nerve system. So if the nerve system or your brain can't detect a bad virus or bacteria, then it can live and proliferate and kill you. If it can detect it, you'll kill it off. An example of this is majority of my patients, if not 99% of my patients, when they start care, they'll say these, these specific words within six months to a year. All the people at the office got sick and I didn't. My children don't get ear infections anymore. anymore. My children don't get colds anymore. And the reason why this happens is when you get adjusted, your brain goes out of stress state, which is beta, goes into alpha and theta, which is relaxation and healing. And in those states, you can become aware and only spike your white blood cell count when it needs to be spiked and pull it down when it doesn't need to be. So when you're exposed to things, it will react correctly and then turn it off. Now, say your nerve system decides to overreact all the time. That's called an autoimmune disease. And then those things are things like MS, ALS, um, other things like rheumatoid arthritis, um, as well as um, chronic fatigue, um, psoriasis, many different things. Where the body starts attacking itself, it means that the nerve system cannot detect and tell the immune system how to work correctly, and the body will actually start to attack itself. Um, so those, those times that I was talking about is the difference between summer and winter, and winter and spring. So the fall and the spring times are, are specifically, most people see this in the uh, fall time, and they call it flu season or cold season. That's when your lungs are changing. The other times when people get really um, attuned to getting sick are at the end of quarters in business and the end of school years. And this is because of high stress of trying to achieve a specific outcome. This high emotional stress will actually cause you to push your immune system up and it will spike it for a long period of time while you're stressed. But as soon as you have a little letdown, what will happen is your body will actually turn the immune system right off. It'll literally just shut it down, and then at that point, you'll get sick. And a lot of people say, I was doing so well, I felt so good, and then the, my exam was done, and then I went home and I got sick all Christmas. Or I felt perfectly fine, I did the end of the quarter, I rocked it out, and then I got sick for a week. And it's the same thing. You've been pushing yourself for so long that as soon as your body goes, okay, we can relax, what it actually does is turns off that fight or flight, lowers the immune system so you can actually just calm down and use that energy to heal different parts. But because you've been running for so long, it actually allows viruses to take a hold of all the tissue that you've hurt. Because when you're in a fight or flight or defense posture, you can't heal yourself. So when you're in that state, you're actually growing disease. That state of fight or flight is supposed to maximally last 15 minutes. But if you stay in it for long periods of time, that's where you get sick. And these are those people, if you stay in it long enough, will get depression, anxiety, 
um, obsessive compulsive disorders, different things like that.